Sziasztok, hi everyone, I'm Sándor, welcome to another Hungarian lesson. Let's see how to say, it doesn't matter in Hungarian. Let's do this. Before I give you the actual phrase itself, let's talk a little bit about today's verb, which is számítani. Számítani. Now, this verb can have three distinct meanings. It can mean to calculate, to count, or to matter. For example, computer in Hungarian is számítógép. Számítógép. It literally means calculating machine. So it's a mathematical term. Like when you want to calculate an equation, you would use this verb or its coverb form kiszámítani. Kiszámítani. But it can also mean to count. Sometimes you can use it to count numbers, you know, like one, two, three, but it's more in the sense of counting on someone or something. Számítani valakire. Számítani valakire means to count on somebody. Számítok rád. Számítok rád. I am counting on you. Számíthatok rád? Számíthatok rád? Can I count on you? Számítanak rám. Számítanak rám. They are counting on me. And then you have the phrase számítani valamire. Számítani valamire, which means to count on something. For example, számítok a rendőrségre. Számítok a rendőrségre. I am counting on the police. But then... Számítani can also mean to matter. It's a regular verb, so if you know the regular conjugation rules, you can easily conjugate this. If you don't, start with this video. So for example, számítok, számítok means I matter. It can also mean I calculate, depending on the context. Számítasz, számítasz means you matter. Számít, számít means he or she or it matters. And if you want to negate this, you just have to put the word nem before this, and you get nem számít. Nem számít. Which either means he, she, or it doesn't matter. And yes, this is the phrase we use to say it doesn't matter. Nem számít. Let's see some examples. Vesztettünk 10 dollárt. Vesztettünk 10 dollárt. We lost 10 dollars. Nem számít. Nem számít. It doesn't matter. Hopefully losing $10 is not the end of the world. Esik az eső. Esik az eső. It's raining. Nem számít. Van esernyőm. Nem számít. Van esernyőm. It doesn't matter. I have an umbrella. Büdös a szád. Büdös a szád. Your mouth stinks. Nem számít. Csókolj meg. Nem számít. Csókolj meg. It doesn't matter. Kiss me. Please don't be this guy. Or let's say you were a warrior in the Middle Ages and during a battle someone screams Egy nyíl van a melkasodban. Egy nyíl van a melkasodban. There's an arrow in your chest. Nem számít. It doesn't matter. You must have been the ultimate warrior. Now, there's another word with which you can express this, which is lényegtelen. Lényegtelen. It's an adjective, either meaning irrelevant or unimportant. Actually, it has some other meanings as well, but these are the most common ones. So if your friend says, Vesztettünk 10 dollárt, you can also reply with Lényegtelen. Lényegtelen. Unimportant. If it's unimportant, then it doesn't matter. Most of the time, this word is interchangeable with Nem számít. Also, in some cases, you can use the word Mindegy. Mindegy as well. I've done a deep dive on this word, go check the video out if you haven't seen it, because this word can mean lots of things. But if you have multiple options, and you're okay with any of them, you can use mindegy instead of nem számít. For example, almát vagy körtét kérsz. Almát vagy körtét kérsz. Would you like an apple or a pear? Mindegy, csak édes legyen. Mindegy, csak édes legyen. It doesn't matter, just be sweet. You can also say, nem számít, csak édes legyen. Nem számít, csak édes legyen. Or you and your friend are planning to order some food and he asks, hamburger vagy pizza? Hamburger vagy pizza? Hamburger or pizza? Mindegy, éhes vagyok. Mindegy, éhes vagyok. It doesn't matter, I'm hungry. Again, you can also say, nem számít, éhes vagyok. Nem számít. Éhes vagyok. Since mindegy can have multiple meanings, and lényegtelen can sometimes carry a bit more of a negative meaning, I would say that if you're unsure which one to use, 
just stick with Nem Samit. But I would also suggest to expose yourself to as much Hungarian speech as you can and pay close attention to how and in which contexts Hungarian use these words and phrases. Mert a szöveg környezet számít. Mert a szöveg környezet számít. Because context matters. Nice little word, isn't it? Szöveg környezet. Szöveg környezet. I could have used kontextus as well, but that's a long word, so there you go, a little bonus word for you at the end of this lesson. Szöveg környezet. Szöveg környezet. Context. Thank you for studying with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe. And if you feel like supporting the channel even more, send me all your money. Just joking, but you can really find my paper information in the description. See you in the next lesson. Sziasztok! A viszontlátásra!